Hello and welcome to Crossout. This time I will show you how to use uh, voice commands in Crossout. Or well, any game really, but um, Crossout is in the focus. So for example, if I say, uh, right now I'm gonna just show you, see the sideways controls on the hover, see it's like very messed up. If I press uh, forward, then it goes this way and like that, yeah, right. But I can do left sideways controls. Confirmed. And now it's uh, properly done. So this is how easy it is for me to uh, swap the controls for a sideways hover. I'm first explaining things and show you how it works. For example, I can say attack. Need help. Great. And other things like that. So I can use the voice commands and everything. I can also say um, see the thing with the uh, guns I showed you on the previous video toggle all weapons as you wish and now I can just click shoot this is very useful for uh, plasma rifles the Helios Prometheus and synthesis you can also do other things for example hide interface there you go interface on I just haven't put the uh, you know response to it because it gets a little bit annoying if you use that all the time toggle all weapons as you wish reset controls Confirmed. And now it's back to this thing. So, now I'm going to show you how it works and how to set it up. It's uh, quite easy, but if you haven't done this before, then you might uh, run into a pickle or two. So, let me show you. So, you need two programs for that. One of them is Voice Attack, most important, because that's the voice recognition program. And the other thing is Auto Hotkey. It doesn't really have any kind of interface. It's a command line tool mostly. I think there was some kind of interface but you don't need it. They are both free to use. Voice Attack has 20 commands. The free version has 20 commands and only one profile. I've been using it on PMNG and Elite Dangerous before, but never on the cross out. It doesn't modify any of the game files, so you don't have to worry about that. It's, it's just for Windows and it just presses the buttons for you. So uh, first let's explain if you open this panel in here. Yeah, I know it recognizes the speech and stuff, but anyway, these are my uh, current commands in here. I also put webcam options and um, other stuff in here. But for example, uh, let's see, attack. These are my attack commands. See, uh, these are the speech uh, things that I uh, speak. It's uh, separate by a semicolon, so I can say any of these phrases. And then it just precious, uh, precious, <laughs> presses number five for me, which is the attack for me. Uh, you can remap them to whatever you want. You have to. That's why I can't share my profile with you. I mean, I can upload it, but it's going to be useless because I'm using custom uh, keyboard, you know, layout. So, but as you can see, it presses number five. If I say any of these words in here, that's very easy to add. Uh, if you don't know how to add, you click on new command, key press, then you press whatever button you have for me. It's number five. Uh, press and hold blah 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 you can also put toggle in here then you click ok and in here you put whatever you want like uh, attack then you put semicolon I also put space just for easier you know uh, things then you could put this uh, stuff like that and then it uh, says attack on the game so we're not gonna save this thing and then we have this uh, where was this uh, for example uh, where was this toggle uh, there we go this one this is what toggles the weapons. See, I have random uh, voices in here, the voice back. I think I included it somewhere. Just look in the description if you want the voice back. You know, the voice uh, lines. And this is my toggle all weapons key. So what you do with this is you just uh, key press, press this down and put uh, toggle keys. Which means if you say it once, then it holds the button down. And if you say it again, then it releases the button. So it's simple enough. That's how I have this key in here, see? Toggle keys and it's this uh, symbol key on the uh, left from number one. You can have any keys you want, like I said, you have to set up your controls yourself. But now let's get to the more complicated part on how to set up these uh, sideway sideways controls. So for example, I have, um, where is this, uh, left sideways, there we go. So uh, these are all the speech commands uh, when I say any of these, as you can see, see left sideways control, sideways left controls, blah, blah, blah. And this is for the left hover because in the game, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, let's go to garage. See, if I would build this the other way around, 
Uh, I have to delete this and just uh, show you a quick uh, build that is other way around. Alright, so I'm done with this one. See, this is uh, facing the right way. I say right because uh, if you look, you know, towards the garage doors, this is right side and that's left side. So, and if you have it this way and I say left sideways controls. Done. See, if I press forward, then it goes backwards. And if I uh, strafe left, then it strafes right. So that's different. Default controls. Okay. Right sideways controls. Very well. And now it's uh, the way it's supposed to be. So if I press forward, it goes forward, backwards, left and right. So that's why you need uh, for two. Because uh, on exhibition, sometimes you have right sideways and left sideways hovers. So this is where it comes in handy. So I explained why I have it on left and why I have right. And now to explain how to set this up. So the first thing to do is you're going to have to use uh, auto hotkey. It's free program, just look in the description, you can uh, download it. You might also already notice these two things in here. So if I right click and open it with Notepad++, then this is uh, what I have inside this program. So this is all you need to do. You can just copy this thing. I can put it somewhere or you can just write it down. I mean, it's very easy to do really, see. So what you do is uh, this F24 in here. This is uh, for, you know, exiting the program. That's what it's for, like exits the order hotkey to close it. So uh, it's it's necessary. Well, yeah, just leave it, leave it as it is. I know you don't have F24 on now the keyboard, but that's fine. The older keyboards, they used to have F, uh, up F1 uh, to F24, but that's fine. Anyway, leave it as it is. And these are the remaps. So it remaps Q to S, W to Q, E to W and S to E. So uh, that's what you need for the sideways controls. So once you have done that, just close this. You can name it to anything you want, really. I just uh, named it left controls. You might uh, use the same things just for, you know, simplicity. Must be the same file name and make sure your Windows um, has the file extensions enabled. Otherwise, you can't rename it. And the right one, we... Uh, no, don't click edit the script. Open with notepad. Uh, this is what my right is. Q to W, blah, blah, blah. You can see it. Only difference are these buttons in here. I can probably put them in the description so you can just copy them off from there. Right. So once you have these in here in the order hotkey folder, these two, just leave them in there. Then we go back to the voice attack, open the profile again, hit new command. And what we want to do is uh, utter advanced, whoops, wait, windows, um, start run an application. Then we browse into the folder from here. So we find the auto hotkey folder wherever you installed it and then you just select auto hotkey, press open and then with these parameters and then we're gonna go in here, just copy this path, paste this in here and then we copy this and paste it in here, oops, a slash is missing, mm. doesn't really matter which way slash it is but yeah okay and this is how you do it, you can test it. Uh, is it still running? Uh, whoops. Default controls. Sure. And it closed it. Okay. And test run. Uh, whoops. What? Yeah. Whoops. I was missing the, these things in here. So you can just copy it here from here. But I just wanted to show you to how to, you know, set it up from scratch. But basically you can just copy these things. Just uh, modify the file name. Like if you have this uh, different name, then you have to modify it. Or if your uh, file path is different, then you have to modify this one. But otherwise it's the same thing. See? You just, uh, I can just edit this one. See, that's how it looks like. That's how mine looks like. And that's all there is. And if you want to stop it, I have it, uh, where's the def default controls? See, it presses F24 key, which you remember uh, we set up in here. This is where the F24 comes from. You can put it anything. You can put like uh, F13, 14, whatever. Something that doesn't exist on your keyboard, so... And the way you press this is you click on key press and instead of pressing the key, you click in here and you just choose, see you choose F24, hit OK, hit OK and there we go. Now I have two of them, just delete uh, one of them, there we go. So this is how you set it up. I can include my profile but as I said it's not going to be much use to you. I mean sideways controls will work. And once you're done, just hit apply, you can set up other things if you want something like any other commands you can think of. And this thing, well, it runs on the background. So the auto hotkey, it closes it if you say default controls. So that's all good. Then you can go into game and kick some ass. 
see right now it's uh, all messed up as you can see again right side with controls understood and this is how easy it is to swap them I have seen a lot of people struggle with the sideways builds, they just, you know, they can't bother, you know, remapping their keys and stuff. But with this, once you set it up, you can just always do it. It's so simple. So anyway, I hope it helps and I will see ya next time.